All right, now let's go ahead and import other remaining data. So those three remaining data, which uh, we need to import country day wise, country wise and day wise. So to do that, I'm going to just copy it and then paste it here three times. So those three other three CSV repositories will be copied here, uh, imported here actually. So we have here first country day wise dot CSV and uh, then we have here a country wise dot CSV, but country wise dot CSV do not have any columns as a date. So I'm going to remove that one. And then finally, we have here day wise. All right, perfect. And this first one is country day wise, country underscore day wise. And the another one is sorry this one is country wise and then finally we have here day wise all right so now these three other packages are imported here let's go ahead and see those packages i'm going to just limit these with head so we have here country wise day wise and country day wise let's go ahead and see first few lines of those uh, data frame like here we have a country wise all right and then here we have a country wise and then finally we have here a day wise so all these are imported here now what i'm going to do here i'm going to get the confirmed recovered and deaths from the df so you see there df inside this df we have here confirmed recovered deaths and the active cases so those cases i'm gonna get there so we have here confirmed is equal to df sorry df dot group by sorry with date so by date all these will be grouped for all the countries then i'm gonna put there sum that's mean it will create a sum for all those um, uh, the covid cases and then finally, I'm going to just take their confirmed cases. And then I'm going to reset index here. All right. Now, if you see this confirmed, you will see there a day by day cases to all the countries. So by latest, you see there we have around 4 million cases. Okay. By today across the world. This is the confirmed cases. And the similarly, I'm going to just copy it and then I'm going to paste it for the recovered cases. All right. And there I'm going to pass there recovered. And then we have here recovered cases. So in this recovered cases, currently we have around 1.37 million cases are recovered. And then similarly, I'm going to do for the deaths as well. So there we have deaths. All right. So by the today, we have total, total 279,000, 279,000 deaths reported till 9th of May 2020. All right. Perfect. So let's go ahead and take just few line of this head so that we can save some spaces here. Now let's go ahead and see if there is any none values present in our clean version of COVID data set. So you can check that with is null and then sum. So with this we see that there is no null values present in this DF data frame. Alright, let's go ahead and see this DF data frame with the info. So this says that we have this date column which is parsed as date time and then we have these two column which is object that's mean these are a string and then latitude and longitude is a float version of the data and then other four columns we have in integer format. Alright, now let's go ahead and finally do some query for a particular country in a df. So df dot query and in this query 
I'm going to set here country is equal to US. All right. And once you do this, you will see all the cases for the US country only. And there are 109 rows. That means since last 109 days, the first case was reported into US. All right, perfect. So this is all about in this lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in next lesson where we will start with worldwide total confirmed record and death cases analysis.